Hello the internet! It is Wednesday the 13th of March 2024 and welcome back to the channel. Do you remember a while ago I reviewed some gin and vodka from Lemon Tree Passage Distillery, which is the distillery owned by Marcus Monkey, old friend Greeny, and his partner Susan Loy. If you do remember it, well congrats, and if you don't remember it, you can check one of the vlogs here. But I recall saying, I'm looking forward to the time when Greeny distills some whiskey. Well, spoiler alert, he hasn't quite done that, but what I've got here today is the next best thing. What I have here is the latest offering from Lemon Tree Passage Distilling. This is a gin which has been aged in Kentucky oak bourbon casks. That's why it's got the colouring it's got. This is going to be the closest you get to a gin that's a whiskey. Call it a whiskey ginny. Call it a giniski. Call it whatever you damn well please. Let me tell you a bit about it before we crack it open. You can see the beautiful lemon tree passage image on the front there, which is a reminder to me to get up there. I still haven't been up to visit the distillery. You can go there and you can purchase this off the shelf. You can buy cocktails made with this. You can sit out there and look at this wonderful view. I still haven't done it yet. Am I going to tell you I'm going to do it soon? No. Instead, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it and you just, you'll just be there with me. It'll be a live stream. Let me read the back of this. This gin has been aged in Kentucky oak bourbon casks and has taken on the smoky, whiskey, sweet flavor of bourbon while retaining its clean juniper taste. Give it a try with ginger ale. That's what I'm gonna be doing today. I guess a few things have changed here from since the last time we had a product from Lemon Tree Passage Distilling. I don't recall, I see you agree with me. I don't recall there being a QR code on the previous um, batches, but there it is. By the way, this is batch one of one. Thank you, Greeny. Uh, it says here, um, or gives you the address if you wanna go and visit the distillery, uh, 7144, or is that seven slash four four? I can't see. My eyesight's so hideous. Looks like 7144, 7 of 44, Cook Parade, Lemon Tree Passage. You can go to the website and confirm. I see a Instagram handle, Lemon Tree Passage underscore distilling. Go and scope that out. First of all, what I wanna do here, uh, before we put some ginger ale with this, I wanna try it neat. And by the way, also, uh, thank you, Greeny, for sending this to me. It's very kind of you. Really looking forward to tasting it and then Looking forward to waiting longer until you do a whiskey. <laughs> this is close enough though. Let's put you down and let's crack some open and taste this shizzle. Uh, is that good for you? Got myself a glass. Lemon Tree Passage Distilling Cask Age Gin. Ooh. Oh, far out. It's definitely on the fruity, spicy, junipery, zingy. Oh man. That smells really, really good. That smells really, really summery. It smells... This is gonna sound weird. It smells like someone's house that I've been at. Whose house was that? It's bringing me back to like some... Hey, these stories aren't fit for a, for a vlog. Somebody's house that I once was at smelled like this. All right, what you got? Giddy up. Can you see? Looking good. Yeah. I mean, I can't recall what juniper is supposed to smell like. That's definitely got some... I'm just trying to remember. I'm just going to forget it and just enjoy it. But there is a... There is a... A, a stinge? A tinge? A hint and a tint. A hint hint of memory. It's bringing up memories and I haven't tasted it before, but I've got a memory of it already. It's weird. Well, pleasantly, fruitily, refreshingly, summery. I know Greeny says, uh, go ginger ale. This is definitely a sipper that you can go neat like this. 
and how. Whoa, it's got like a, um, I'm not hitting whiskey. I'm not hitting a whiskey flavor here. I don't know if, if it's just the junipers that's, that's overpowering it. I'm really, really loving it. Like that's, that's wonderful. If you're gonna drink gin, do it on this one. Don't just get regular gin, right? Get, this has all those botanicals and all those flavors of gin. And then there's this little additional thing hitting it as well. Get that, get this one. Yeah, wow, very interesting. I'm gonna crank some with some dry ginger ale, which by the way, somebody gave this to me. I don't drink soft drinks, except when I'm mixing. And a uh, female who will rename nameless uh, handed me this and said, do you want an unopened bottle of dry ginger ale? And I said, no, I don't drink soft drinks. And then it reminded me, hang on a sec, I'm gonna do that review for Greeny. And he recommends. And so I said, actually, I will take that if that's still on offer. And so she gave it to me. What I'm gonna do here, this, this, this is the best thing I've had from, from Lemon Tree Passage Distilling. This is fantastic. Yeah, that's, that's oh, wow, that is so good. All right, so what I'll do, I will add some ice into a glass. I will add some more of the wonder stuff. I'm gonna read that back again for you. This gin has been aged in Kentucky oak bourbon casks. Has taken on the smoky, whiskey, sweet flavor of bourbon. I would 100% agree with the sweet flavor of bourbon while retaining the clean juniper taste. The, the, the sweet and the juniper is right there. Smoky? I'm not getting smoky. Oh wait, now I'm smelling smoky. I'm smelling it, because it told me. All right, look. I'm gonna go a little more on this. Oh, better be careful, I've got other things to do as well, but I really could easily get stuck in here. I mean, the coloring's gonna be wonderful, isn't it? At this point, I'll say, hey, Greeny, Susan, and Lily, the little one, thank you, cheers. What a great job. That, if this is any indication of what your whiskey can be like, wow, 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 get it, get it. Cheers again. Okay, okay, it's working. Yep, yep, that's good. Uh, retail price on these uh, 55 Aussie dollars. And I don't know if they ship internationally. I'm not 100% certain on that. If you're in Australia, you can definitely buy from their online store. And if you're up in the Port Stephens area, like Nelson Bay style, uh, you can go and have an afternoon affair there and take some with you. A couple of other things that have changed since last we did a review of the, their products, they've got them in retail stores now. There's a bunch of retail stores that are stocking them, so that's pretty good. They're slowly branching out into the community. The recommendation uh, from Greeny and on the bottle, give it a try with ginger ale, yeah, for sure, but I'm 100% convinced that this is one you can just have neat, and I will do that. I will, I mean, this is only a small bottle anyway. I'll probably just have two of these, then I'll have another one neat. Um, do you want to see where I am right here? I don't know how much of the uh, ocean you can see there. Looking across at Comorong Island in the background over there. Shoalhaven Heads even further in the background. Lemon Tree Passage Distilling Cast Aged Gin in the foreground. Yeah, fantastic. Am I gonna sit back down? I guess I am. All right, I think that's all you need to know from me about the product. Now it's over to you. Grab yourself a bottle, taste it, see what you think, drop a comment down below. When you're at the, the distillery and you are there for the first time, tell Greeny or Susan that I sent you. Tell them you saw it on Gives A Minute. That's why they sent me the product, to get it out there further to people. So if you go there or if you purchase, reference me. There might even be some kind of love, a discount, I don't know. Hey, I'm gonna sit here and finish this and enjoy myself on a lovely Wednesday afternoon. See you all on the next upload. Yo, Greeny, how long to the whiskey? How long, how long? That means time. Dude, this is fantastic.